So this you have to see. Um, in advance of the big Christmas holiday this weekend, the former president, Donald Trump, sat down with former Arkansas Republican Governor Mike Huckabee, also the dad of Trump's own former press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who herself is now running as a Republican for governor of Arkansas. I don't think I've ever seen an interview like this. And a huge part of the interview is about a fake issue. Then that issue is the so-called war on Christmas. There's music playing in the background. Mike Huckabee is really focused in on Christmas and sort of makes Trump out to be like a hero, I guess, for saving Christmas, for bringing back Christmas. See if you can. I challenge you. See if you can determine the number of lies told here. Let's just jump right into the first clip. America had gone through a long period where people quit saying Merry Christmas. It was all happy holidays. You deliberately changed that that's and true. openly said, Merry Christmas, we're going to say it again. I was that part of my campaign, Mike. Yeah. You know, the country had started with this woke, I guess, uh, a little bit before that. Yeah. And it was embarrassing for stores to say Merry Christmas. You'd see these big chains. They want your money, but they don't want to say Merry Christmas. And they'd use reds and they'd use whites and snow, but they wouldn't say Christmas. And when I started campaigning, this was in 2015, when I started campaigning, I said, you're going to say Merry Christmas again. And now people are saying it. Of course, they're not saying a lot of other things like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson. You know, those names are being obliterated because of craziness. So there was a long period where no one said Merry Christmas. That's not true. Trump said that part of his campaign was saying Merry Christmas. Now, that may be true. But how pathetic is that if it's true? Trump saying it like it's something to be proud of, but it's not. It's a joke. If you ran on, we're going to say Merry Christmas again, which, by the way, we nobody ever stopped saying Merry Christmas. It was never embarrassing for stores to say Merry Christmas. There were some stores who chose the more inclusive happy holidays. But like, who really cares and then Trump says they also aren't saying things like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson. Who isn't saying those names? And also, what do those names have to do with this time of the year? Like as I, we're reaching this is sort of like uncharted territory in lies about what is happening in society and culture. People aren't saying these names and Huckabee just nods along like this makes sense. Let's continue into the next clip. But uh, they are saying Merry Christmas again. We got that. That was a big part of what I was doing. And so I would say it all the time during that period that we want them to say Merry Christmas. Don't shop at stores that don't say Merry Christmas. And I'll tell you, we brought it back very quickly. You really did. And I think a lot of people appreciated that it was a part of the American culture. It was a part of who we are. It wasn't uh, to exclude anybody. It was just simply a celebration of what America does at Christmas. And America and the world, but America loves Christmas. Yeah. And whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, whether you're Jewish, everyone loves Christmas. And they'd say Merry Christmas until these crazy people came along and they wanted to stop it along with everything else. So I was very proud of that, actually. Remember, I used to say, we will say Merry Christmas again in front of these massive crowds of people. So Trump says it like it's an administrative accomplishment. We brought back saying Merry Christmas. And he says even Muslims, <laughs> I don't know why you pronounce it that way, Muslims like Christmas as well which is really something else. I still don't know who cares about this. And every time I say this was not ever a real issue, a couple people will email me and they'll say, David, no, there was a cultural backlash at one point where uh, the wokesters were saying you shouldn't say Merry Christmas or whatever. Almost no one ever cared about this. I'm Jewish. I recognize most people are Christian Cu by culturally, ethnically, I'm saying. When someone says Merry Christmas to me, and it has happened a lot in the last 10 days, I don't get offended. I just don't say it myself. I'll either say thank you and walk away. Uh, if someone says happy holidays, I'll say likewise, happy holidays, have a good new year. And sometimes if someone says Merry Christmas to me, I'll say, oh, uh, happy Hanukkah. Like if they're wishing me 
something about what they celebrate. I'll wish them happiness for what I celebrate. Like, it's no big deal. People will laugh. It's just it just doesn't matter. And Trump is calling this one of his major accomplishments, if you can imagine that. Now, it is true. Doesn't really have any other accomplishments to speak of. So maybe the fact that he says Merry Christmas is like all he has to cling to or something like that. There's one more clip in this one. Huckabee thanks Trump for not just saying Merry Christmas, but for giving people good Christmases. And this is like, I mean, uh, you know, this is like North Korean propaganda. Uh, Huckabee really should be blushing behind that white beard that he is now sporting. Take a look at this. President, I want to say because of you, a lot of Americans have had some great Christmases. You helped rebuild the economy, pride in our country, made us a strong military once again, stood up to China. When I think of all the ways that you led this country, energy independent for the first time in 75 years. Right. No longer. I think a lot of people are <laughs> right now saying, I wish Donald Trump was president right now this year for Christmas. What a great Christmas present that would be. Well, it's been very sad when you look, we were energy independent and now they're going to OPEC again and and they're begging for oil. And uh, the gasoline price was $1.87 and now it's in California, $7 and 50 cents a gallon. And it's going to follow that. And I said that during the debates, I said, wait till you watch what they do to energy. Wait till you watch what they do with inflation. Inflation is a killer and so many other things. It's it's very sad to, to see what's happening. but. Uh, our country will survive it. And I really believe we're going to be greater than ever before. A beautiful Christmas message about begging OPEC for oil. Still Trump talking about 750 gas in California, which, by the way, I was in California last week. I looked everywhere for the seven dollar seventy seven cent gas Trump talked about. Now, I'm not saying it never existed. Maybe there was some place in California where super premium was seven seventy seven. I couldn't find it. Most expensive I saw was six forty nine. Let by the way, I didn't put that in my rental car. I'm putting the cheap stuff in the rental car. I can tell you that for sure. OK, so a complete and total propaganda piece there on Newsmax and everybody involved should be completely embarrassed by it. One of our sponsors is Blinkist, who's been supporting The David Pakman Show longer than any other sponsor. Blinkist is the app that lets you listen to or read an entire nonfiction book in just 15 minutes. Blinkist is the way to absorb those books you can't make time for. Blinkist takes top nonfiction titles, pulls out the book's key takeaways and insights, and gives it to you in the form of a text or audio explainer that you can consume in 15 minutes. With Blinkist, now you actually do have time to learn about all the things you've been wanting to tackle. On the Blinkist app, I just listened to This Is Your Mind on Plants by the great Michael Pollan. Super interesting. The history of caffeine and so many other things. Blinkist has you covered on podcasts too. Blinkist takes long episodes of popular podcasts and distills them into audio you can listen to in 15 minutes. With Blinkist, you can become knowledgeable about so many different things. You can have conversations with people about more topics. Blinkist makes you more well rounded. Try Blinkist for free and get 25% off a subscription. Go to blinkist.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.